this was a very uh very realistic and intuitive response it was a copy of the emancipation proclamation for washington and jefferson a six pack of john adams for the adams to share subscription to a good video porn site for baldy ben franklin uh-huh. i'd get john hancock a model of the chicago chicago what uh, the the, Tribune? of the chicago john hancock center building and of the life insurance policy for his namesake company Okay, that's yeah, some uh, really deep. That's some yeah. deeper stuff. I don't understand. I see the emancipation. Like it's rumored that uh, Thomas oh, it, Jefferson, it his original draft ended slavery, but oh yeah, like, they had to, the South wouldn't buy it, so we're not. So they had, to just, they had to just they had to do it. Common Congress, dis, uh, yeah. you know, arguments can't and, uh, agree on anything. But what else, Thomas? They continue to say I would buy a course in government for George Mason at George Mason University, so he can set up. Those libertarians straight, and he might also get George Washington a dollar bill, just I, to see him on his. Uh, oh, my mind is fucked. I, I never like a cheap out yeah. and get him a quarter. I'm honored. <laughs> I am. He's honored. on the quarter too. Isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably be like, "Oh, this is Scott Spielberg." I mean, who who want, what do you want a bill or a quarter? They're, they're just shiny. Oh, <laughs> I can bite this. You can hold more of these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this weighs more. Apparently. <clears throat> the portrait of of uh, George Washington um, on the dollar bill. They had him stuff cotton in his gums, and they made his gum. It made his front lip seem bigger, and uh, apparently his dentures would deform his jawline. So when he stuffed, they stuffed cotton in there to make things look a little bit more normal. Oh wow! So it was like this or something like. Oh, his, di- his ditch. I can't see what you're doing because your beard's so huge, Chris. <laughs> you look like you just, dude. I seriously saw a vagina when you peeled back that hair. <laughs> and that's all I see now. Go eat a popsicle later. Be like, oh. anyways. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of that, uh, someone said uh, I would get them a dildo so they could fuck themselves. Okay. Oh, that's someone that's pretty angry. I think yeah. they're from Europe. Salty. Mm. Uh, someone they, they, said uh, slaves, question mark. They would give them slaves? Must be pretty rich to give a founding father 40 grand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's just what the response was. Okay. And then the last one was the European flag. Hmm. I don't get that joke. They're probably mad to get their ass kicked twice. Yeah, they're mad. Yeah. Still mad. I mean, left we, made us lose all our other I mean we, we teamed back no, up with Winston Churchill and uh, beat those Nazis back into the ground. Yeah, we so we tapped everybody and they came over there and had to save them. It's all right. Luckily, we didn't take their land after World War II. Yeah, we should yeah, have. We should have. Yeah. Europe be half Russian, half America. Mm-hmm. Instead of Parliament, we just took over. I got a foothold over there on mm-hmm. the on the other side, on the other side of the flat Earth. <laughs> what else you got, Thomas? <laughs> that that was it. That was the last one. But okay. I do have some a uh, fun fact about Thomas Jefferson. Let's hear it. So Thomas Jefferson was an avid bone collector. Uh, but they called him a bone collector because the term fossils during this day and age was still under interpretation. So he didn't call them fossils. He called them bones. Right. So he collected uh, many different animals and viewed. Uh, he also viewed that the animals could not be extinct. So he didn't believe in extinction either. I saw where he had a mastodon bone. Yes, yeah. that was. Oh, wow, that's cool. So his belief said, and he wrote books and papers because he was a lawyer and all this stuff. He said, animals are not extinct. If you find bones or remains of an animal, it is not extinct because it could therefore theoretically still be alive because it was at one point in time. I can see where that, he's coming from. That was his idea in a very broad nutshell. But he, sounds he, ignorant. He changed his mind a lot as he got older. He, he did. Like he, he originally wrote that humans didn't have free will. Well, some people probably don't. Not first. <laughs> uh, something caught my eye, Thomas. Oh, <laughs> you see something moving? Uh, I can see the window out there. Beto! Go back in your closet! Hey, I don't know if I can be doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, something <laughs> caught my eye. Uh, move, something like kind of moved past the window, but it might have been just my eyes. Uh, a cat. <laughs> yeah. Could be. I, don't be your cat. Bear. I don't have any cats. Okay. <laughs> um, so he didn't believe in extinction, but he did uh, love to collect bones. And uh, he had mastodon remains. Oh, sorry. I just foiled your work there. Sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's good because um, the mastodon remains, <laughs> he... Uh, <laughs> 
he actually wrote back to France and the colleges and other stuff, and they had a discussion, and they made an American Mastodon, and they called that the Mammoth. Hmm. Huh? The Woolly Mammoth? The Woolly Mammoth. Yeah. Huh. So the American Mastodon, instead of the Mastodon stayed over in Europe and Asia, and over in America, they call it the Mammoth because it had more fur and... It's a, cooler, was, it's a cooler name, too. It no, is. It not. Dude, Mastodon is so much cooler. Dude, Mastodon is cool. Yeah, Mastodon! <laughs> it's more for time! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mast- so, uh, Mastodon, I like. Just keep talking. He, uh, oh, the band? <laughs> there we go. Right. Got beat right <laughs> in front <laughs> <my daughter. laughs> So he uh, he also named a new species in America when he found the remains. Anybody know the name of that? Americanitis. Close. Are we talking about, you said the Thomas, Amer- Jeff- Thomas, Thomas Jefferson? Jefferson? He, yeah, he named a new species of animal that had already been found, but he found Did the remains. Did he name her Sally? The American jackrabbit. What kind of, what kind of animal? species of Was animal? it a mammal? Um, Reptile? If pretty much it was a giant sloth. Oh. He named it Sally Hemings. No. Okay. Do we have giant sloths in America? Not anymore. We did? Yes. It was called uh, Megalonyx. Hmm. Hmm. Hooked on phonics. Megalonyx. It's a giant ground sloth that is much bigger than a bear. Yeah. What? Whenever they stood on their I've back feet, they're like seven or eight feet tall. These were around in their time? Yes. Can you imagine like a little giant sloth just stealing kids out of the woods? <laughs> well, the sloth. Look at the hands. No, these were giant sloths and they had long claws like Wolverine. What was it called? So, they run 30 miles uh, an Megalonyx. Hour. <laughs> Can you bring it up? Yeah, do you yes. think about that, dude? It, he's one arm and out of the tree <laughs> scooping up a kid. Hey, I will. <laughs> I, I, will I will say those those dragon, uh, the really dangerous lizards. Yeah, the Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragons? Didn't we watch a video of one of those fucking things eating a baby deer out of yeah. the belly of another deer that was eating still it, alive? Yeah. There you go. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> that, look at that thing. Dude, that was alive during their time? Yes. They, this, uh, look at it fighting a There you go. What? What are you talking about? This was around in the 1700s? Sure this was No, this was alive. They found the remains, and then Thomas Jefferson, whenever he sent Lewis and Clark out west for their expedition, he specifically told them, among other things, to search for this animal. And Lewis and Clark came back with the story saying they came upon Native Americans, and they brought back, like, a tooth from this animal. Oh, wait. So they never a... they found fossils from one? They found the fossils. Lewis and Clark went out, and he found – they talked to a Native tribe that encountered them and brought back, like, nails and teeth and stuff. Yeah, so this seconds, was a no. real thing. But what if they found the what, – what if they just found the bones in the ground? I bet second you will. Oh, I, I thought, I thought well, these Jefferson things found were alive the, during those times. They were. No, I bet they're uh, not. Second you will. There's no second, way that hey, was alive. There's no way Think that was it. alive. No, you know that the Indians are like, <laughs> we can get the white man to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> they just found, they found fossils. Thomas Jefferson found fossils. Hold on. Lucy Clark is like, fuck it, we'll tell him we found the goddamn thing. I'm so saying second. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of money here. That's what uh, they thought. They're like, you know, their guide, they're like, hey, ask the Indians if uh, this is real. And, he's, and she's like, hey, tell the white man this is real. Could you imagine going out in the battlefield, everybody's just doing their army, they're fucking walking to each other, and then and like one some... of these motherfuckers come out, they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, there's like, fuck oh, you, like, uh, fuck that. Okay, maybe I was <laughs> wrong. Like, out here. Like, maybe I was wrong. You can have trees. America. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's maybe what I happened to the Indians. <laughs> it's George Washington's right, riding one of them. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> With his AR-15. <laughs> With a fucking eagle on his shoulder. <laughs> okay, I may have been wrong on the time frame. Never mind. Uh, it says that uh, it went from the 10.3 MYA to 11,000 years ago. Yeah. So well, they the, found bones the super it. indigenous Native Americans and cave people probably fought them. But they still had the bones and teeth and they stuff. Oh, yeah. sweet. I found a picture of an Indian fighting one. <laughs> yeah, what's, the, a, what's the circuit date of it? Yeah, yeah. So they the had bones. I don't know, see Thomas. That's what a good recreation of it was. So I guess they just had stories of their ancestors that used to fight these. I guess they they had dealt with them centuries ago. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this was pretty much like bigger than a bear, but mm-hmm. it had long ass claws on its hand, and they said it would kill like four or five people. <laughs> Lewis and Clark came back with the story saying they encountered one, but. 
they just doing that for like clout. It's, yeah. That's for for flair. They were influencing. They like the one rogue sloth just out there. Yeah, they killed like a maybe Bigfoot is a sloth. I like that idea. He could. There's like a giant, just like a, a patch yeah. of giant sloths out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. So all we they have killed, today are the, the little ones. <laughs> They said this was uh, one of many giant mammals that used to be around that are no longer around. Right. Just because they were so big that people, just humans, The Indians probably like, let's them. eat that. We can use yeah. these claws for, like, And they're, they were probably slow, so, I mean, you sacrifice three three people to kill the animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it's worth it. That's a lot of, lot of fur. Yeah. A lot of warmth. A yeah. picture where it shows the guys with the spears, like, 1v1 in a mammoth. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, under it. It's like, you're dead. You're well, can you see that, though, versus a sloth? I feel bad for the sloth. He's just, like, a 10-foot tall thing going, like... I was, like, the... Well, I'm sure this one Indians was probably going fast. Him. He's just, like... <laughs> this one's What's probably... Happening? This one probably wasn't slow. This one was probably pretty fast. I mean, it's probably more like a bear. <laughs> I mean, like, top speed of 30 miles an hour on land. A sloth? <laughs> that would be fucking dangerous. Yeah, that would be so bad. <laughs> But like the, the <laughs> fucking claws, like, he's, he's I, like don't, <laughs> I don't think they could run because of the giant hook hands. They, they they ran on their fucking like this. Oh, they ran on the toenails. <laughs> yeah, like they just sanctuary. <laughs> they just sanctuary. <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, so yeah, he was he was big into fossils and bones, and he wrote books and everything. <laughs> the hunchback is like. I just imagine the hunchback is like dressed up as the sloth chasing people around. Oh yeah, but their theater entertainment back then. Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my god, it's a beast. So yeah, I just thought that was a good fun fact. Okay. So I wonder nice. how many people though back then you can lie to people. Dude, so you probably fool so many. Yeah. You're like, I found well, a he, dinosaur. He had a giant love. bone collection in his house. Like right, Thomas cool. Jefferson did. Yeah. Like, he was an avid collector. Like I feel that he probably had, like, the ivory tusk, but then he made everything else up. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is all real because I said so. This is a sloth. Uh, Lewis and Clark found it. Well, I mean. It's real. They they found remains, so they've reconstructed it now with science. So. Yeah. It's fake. The devil giant, put them bones giant in the ass, ground. Uh, yeah, the bones were put there by the... By the somebody dinosaurs. Else. Yeah, the dinosaurs, the weren't, dinosaurs weren't, real. weren't real. The Earth, <laughs> the dinosaurs, there to try to disprove the Bible. Mm-hmm. The Earth is only six thousand five hundred and ninety-five years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these giant sloths—they were extinct eleven thousand years ago. See, you had Adam and Disproven. Eve and a giant sloth and a snake and an apple tree. And now the Earth's not round either. But. And then rock people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dude, a comet came down through the firmament and. You mean that was, them that was just one of the lights fell off the top of the ceiling? Yeah, one of the... The studio light lamp fell. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, God. It's like some Westworld shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Westworld dummies just look up like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then they... That is unusual. Paul's, Paul's movements. Paul's all movements. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop <laughs> all murder history, functions. Man. <laughs> stop like, all murder uh, functions. The studio execs, they canceled Dinosaur World and they wanted to start Primate World. <laughs> oh, wow. And that's where all the Mandela effect comes from. Mm-hmm. Some people yeah. got Pauls remember it and some people Pauls don't remember it. Mm-hmm. Stop all motor functions. Bob, clean up that light bulb. Okay. okay. Uh, why is this light bulb? <laughs> bulb, bulb okay, guy. Resume motor functions. Well, why, am, why am I cleaning up this light bulb? Where'd the meteor go? <laughs> <laughs> what meteor? Wipe memory. Start over. And that's where the theory of karma came from. <laughs> and she's a bitch. We're not karma, and, reincarnation. Oh, karma. I'm stupid. <laughs> Um, there's, this is a quick thing I'm going to throw out there that there is a rumor that there was a time traveler that was responsible for convincing our founding fathers to sign the declaration of independence. I'm down with this. Who is it? He just bust out the DeLorean with a nine miller. Fucking sign it. Fucking sign it now. So it's apparently something that was said in the back of the room that they can't figure out who said it and why they said it. But there was some arguments going on. People wouldn't sign the Declaration of Independence. And apparently someone in the back of the room said, God has given America to be free. After which there was a large rush to sign, unable to find the individual responsible afterward. It is dubiously claimed the anonymous person must have been a time traveler resolved to save the country. How, do they have audio of this? Like, can you play that for me? <laughs> this was before recordings, wasn't it? America is free. Oh, let's give the America to be free. Oh, shit. I got a point. 
That's when he blew.